agree with you. Oh, I mean, I mean, I still just get tingles just thinking about it because I can, I can picture it in my head. Um, you know, the 2004 championship I can replay like it was yesterday. So, you know, we had a, a feel about a feel of that when we beat Detroit for the Eastern Conference Championships. But it's, it's, you know, we win that big one and uh, you double that. It's, it's amazing the feeling. I and mean, obviously, we know what the big picture is. I mean, that's why we're all playing this game is to win the championship. So, you know, we take it play by play, and we know it's going to go down. So every game will literally go down to the wire. I mean, you saw the first two games. I think the rest of the series will go exactly the same way. Give her a hard time? Uh, definitely a talker. You know, we uh, we always have a good time, that's for sure. You know, just talking about different games throughout the season, different players and stuff like that. Um, but I, I think the, the one thing that you try to stay away from is like the ESPN clip uh, clip notes, you know, cliff notes, whatever you want to call them. Um, just making sure that you're, uh, you're not uh, you're not on the other end, on the receiving end of something that she's done. You know, one of those big blocks she had one of them the other night. Just making sure that you're not that player. But um, definitely a lot of like noise. But it's all in fun, and it's great playing against such a great player. You know, and obviously playing with her, um, it's always a challenge going against her. But it's something you know I've always talked about, just being excited about taking a challenge like that, and you know, trying to do the best job that I can. No, I mean she's probably one of the most difficult players to guard. You know, just because she is. We kind of have a little bit of the same body build as far as being strong, you know, stronger on the, on the perimeter. And, um, you know, I think for both of us, being able to post up, being able to, you know, she shoots th the threes so well. And it's like one of those players that you can't help off of. You have to be in her face 24-7. And, you know, for me, sometimes it's like she's such a smart player. So most defenses, you know, most some players you can say, okay, lock and trail all the time. Some players you can say make them fade. You know, she's the kind of player that she reads the defense so well that you can't do the same thing twice in a row. You have to switch it up pretty much every time and that's something that in my mind I'm like, okay, you know, I gotta I gotta get there but I gotta figure out a different way to get there so that I can kinda keep her on her toes as well. It's fun to see you brighten up talking about that. You yeah. really enjoy the I challenge do. of doing this, don't you? <laughs> I do. It, it's fun for you because most people like defense well, because coach makes me do what I have to. <laughs> no, you know, I really do. I, I really do enjoy playing defense. And, you know, I think over the years it's been one of those things where it is like, you know, you, the challenge that's there. And, uh, you know, I mean, she got, she ended up with 20 points, but it's like, you know, she took 22 shots and got 20 points. So, you know, my job is done as far as making her, uh, making her shoot the shots. And granted, some of the shots she was wide open and just happened to miss. Game three, she won't miss those shots, so I got to do a better job about with just going into the series and um, having to win one of the first two games, you know, grand hope. Hopefully both games, obviously we didn't, but you know, coming out of there with one is, is uh, definitely great for us. Um, coming back home, I mean, obviously excited about being here, but I think where we have to, what we have to do a better job of is, is not being content. And um, coming out, I mean, we played a pretty good game, game two, we'll watch some more tapes. There's a lot, I watched the tape after the game. I didn't go to bed till like four in the morning. But, um, you know, I think there's a lot of things that we can make adjustment-wise, things that we can do better. And if we all get on that same page, you know, Kathy down the stretch, I think she scored like 10 ba baskets on her, on her own. We got to do a better job. You know, that can't happen. Penny Taylor, she didn't play, you know, after she got hit in the mouth. So she's going to play game three. We have to do a better job on her. So it's little things like that, that as a team, we have to refocus and we got to get ready for them. My biggest focus is to come out like I did game two, you know, start the game aggressive. Um, get to the basket, get to the free throw line, create for my teammates, keep doing that. Defensively, obviously, my mission is Diana Taurasi. And, you know, I know she's going to be ready game three, one and two. Everybody's talking about her shooting percentage. But, you know, DT is a baller. She, that's, this is what she does. She lives and dies to play in the finals to win a championship. And I know she's a great leader for her team. So just like I leave my team, she leaves her team. And, you know, my mission really is to come out and to have a better defensive uh, effort against her. Feeling everybody feels good, um, you know, but obviously my thing, like I said, I don't want people to get too satisfied with where we're at. We're back 1-1, one, one, but, you know, it's the best of five series. We got two games at home. It's great because, you know, we're going to have a sellout crowd Sun or tomorrow, Sunday, I guess. It's not, it's not tomorrow yet. But we're going to have a sellout crowd on Sunday, you know, and then come back and we got them again on Wednesday. Um, you know, we, tomorrow, uh, Sunday's game is really important. We got to come out. Everybody's got to be focused. It's an earlier game than, you know, we're all used to playing. So it was, that, that means that your mentality has to be a lot more sharper. You know, it's got to be sharper. And we got to come out and we, we're going to have to roll for 40 minutes. Man, it's, it's huge, you know, and I think uh, the greatest thing, stepping off the plane and coming through, you know, the airport concourse yesterday shows how big it is. 
you know, I mean, we've had rallies where people have come to the airport and, and greeted us back at the old airport, but this by far was the biggest one we've ever had. And, you know, definitely when you look at the support that we've gotten, not only from the fans that have been there for us, you know, through thick and thin, but now it's like the whole city, the whole state behind us. And that just shows how big it is. You know, I remember when the Colts, you know, Tony Dungy and the Colts, um, you know, were going for their run. It's like, all of a sudden, you know, everybody was like, coach, coach, coach. I mean, it was everywhere, and it's like the same thing. Now it's like fever, fever frenzy everywhere, which is awesome. I mean, you know, we talked about how important our fans have been for us all season long. And, I mean, the support that we've gotten from, you know, our fans that have come consistently has been phenomenal. And definitely, you know, with having more, I mean, it's, it's always like that sixth man. You always feel like, I mean, when we're down, it's like they're the ones that are like, come on, you guys, you got it. You know, you hear the people that sit right behind the bench, you know, screaming at our ears screaming in the huddles and stuff you know come on you got you know pick it up pick it up and I mean I think for me it's more of an encouragement it's like okay you know it's just a motivating factor like knowing that they're behind us no matter what and when we're down they're there to pick us up and I think that sometimes definitely helps us as well.